Hey everyone, this is a lock I'm really excited about. It's an EVA 3KS. Now EVA is one of the few ultra high security lock companies that isn't owned by ASA Abloy and they also make some really 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 innovative cool locks. And so this is one of them and uh, at its core it's a slider lock. It has 12 sliders, six on either side, two sidebars, one on either side, a passive top bar or bottom bar depending on whether or not we're in Europe, and an interactive component that sits just inside the keyway here and interacts with this. Now I'm not sure, let's see if we can get a view inside, but you can kind of start to see what these sliders look like. There are two types of them. One type has uh, sh shallow nubs and there are two of them on each slider and those correspond to these parallel tracks in the key. The other has deeper single protrusions which correspond to this deeper single groove in the key. And so the trick is obviously getting in there and manipulating those up and down, uh, avoiding the false gates, and uh, generally wrangling 12 sliders into position. We can avoid the top bar by and the, and the interactive component by not putting our uh, tension wrench too far into the lock. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and check it up and I'll be back to pick it. Okay, here we go with the EVA 3KS very difficult pick, as I would expect from EVA, one of the top high security lock manufacturers in the world. Um, how difficult is it compared to some of the other super high security locks? Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, they all feel like the most difficult in lock in the world when you're picking them. Um, but it's certainly up there. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those locks where the philosophy of picking it and the practice of picking it sometimes diverge. <laughs> my philosophy is to try to the best of my ability to use a um, back to front type of strategy in terms of setting these sliders, but they don't bind conveniently, and so I have to kind of plan that I'm going to have to re you know reset many sliders along the way as I disturb them trying to trying to get from one end of the lock to the other G.I. Joe said, though, knowing is half the battle.
All right, there it is. Eva 3KS picked open. All right, let's keep careful to remain in frame. See if I can get this circlip off without damaging it too badly. All right, so just so we're clear, that's picked open. <laughs> it's very non-trivial pick. Very happy to catch this guy on cam. Okay, so this lock's a little bit weird to gut in that you can't pull the core out when it's open. You have to pull the core, you have to close the core, put the key in, and then that lines up all the sliders so that you can you can slide it out. So let's see here how best to do this. Let's take the uh, sliders out first, then we'll deal with the sidebar sidebars. Okay. Uh, trying to maintain orientation. Slider one. Slider two. My hands are shaking. <laughs> Always shaking hands with the high security locks. Oops, okay, there's your top bar or bottom bar. Main thing is not to mix these sliders up because, uh, boy, rekeying this, I'm not sure exactly how I'd do it. All right. Okay, so there's all the sliders. We have right here is the top bar or bottom bar. Sidebar number one. Sidebar number two, and here's the core. So let's come down for a close-up of all these pieces. Okay, so we can see here all the sliders, um, and if you look closely you can see the false gates in them. There's a false gate there. Uh, each of them ha seems to have one false gate, I believe. And uh, you can see that these nubs on the side correspond to the, uh, the tracks in the key. So in other words, these ones with dual nubs follow those parallel paths, and the ones with single nubs follow that center, deeper groove. Um, very interesting lock, very cool lock. Um, let's do sidebar number one. And you can see the two little springs there, and then of course this little groove here is where uh, these gates fall in. And on both of those you can see that that's uh, 
that little groove there is, is intact. Here's your uh, top bar, that's passive, so we don't have to worry about that too much with respect to picking, but if we disturb it with our tension wrench, we get ourselves in trouble. And then here's a, here's a picture of the core, and then where it slides in, and you can start to see with these grooves how if any of those sliders are protruding through the, uh, the top, then you can't pull the core out, and so they have to be flush with the, uh, the core in order to be able to be pulled out. So um, yeah, happy to get this one on camera. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the Eva 3KS. If you would like this challenge, or this isn't going to be a challenge lock, it'll be just a normal uh, American lock giveaway. Go ahead and answer this riddle. Be the first to do so, and I'll go ahead and send that to you. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the EVA 3KS uh, as much as I did. It's a really fantastic lock. Thanks for watching.